I rolled a five. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Media podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today we are joined by Ben from Melbourne TCG. Hello. And locals member Kurt. Hi. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. Well, it's a short week because we're recording this early. Yes. Spoilers. Shh, shh. Recording this early because we've got states tomorrow. It's absolutely Sunday. You can't prove um, otherwise. So, how did I go with locals? How did you go? I went X1. Uh, I switched my build for the first time since I literally bought the deck. So I've been playing the same Kashira build the whole time. And then I switched to Hand Trap Kashira. Didn't work very well round one. Mm-hmm. It makes it much more fragile against decks like Sword Soul. But against other decks like Super Heavy Samurai, much, much better. Significantly better. Um, so, yeah. Just hoping for those meta matchups. Yeah, I'm going to play that tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I can just fucking say whatever the fuck's in my build because this is coming out after the event. True. Um, and I can't wait to go X3 drop in round three. <laughs> You're not going to do that, because Kurt and I are going to come top, and then you're going to be sitting there bored. Nah, I'm just going to leave his bind. Hmm? I'll just leave his bind. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> this is Where another reason why I should probably drive. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go. can get it on a fucking train. <laughs> that train ride's got to be like four or five hours. It's three hours. Fuck. I know this because of... So just top, and then you don't have to worry about it. That's brutal. <laughs> That's brutal. That's brutal. Don't do that to me, Jake. <laughs> how dare you how dare you to go x1 at an event how dare i do well <laughs> anyway okay. stop banging you get really aggressive with I the table tonight. once the listeners at home are getting aggressively assaulted in their ears <laughs> good how was your week uh well i'll start off with sunday uh, Sunday I went to my the event in Sydney oh, yeah, Kurt went Alliance with us. game. Yes, yes. I lost all three games straight away. Uh, my first match I was playing tier, which not a great format for me at the moment, but you took the gamble, you played tier, and then you just got fucking nothing but cash up. Destroyed. Game one was Mathmech, then game oh, two game was two. cash, and then yeah. game three was cash. Versus the second place of Chatswood in game three. Man, so, was, man was X2. Yeah. It's up to Kurt. Kurt's playing, Kurt's playing tier. He's like, oh, at least they're going to win now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tuesday, I ended up borrowing a cash deck. And I went two wins, two losses. But I just don't like the deck. Correct. So, That's understandable. The deck isn't enjoyable for me. Like... I like a combo deck that's just set a big boss monster go. Man doesn't like to to have to play interactive with you. No. What, what's this action? What, Sometimes what you, interactive? you flip your set cards and then you take it back. You can dance if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, what are you taking in tomorrow? I'm trying today? Sword Soul. It's the deck that I came in with at Locals starting... I'm going to give it a go. It might give me something. Hoping to get my invite. If I don't, I'm still going to Brisbane. He's just going to come hang out. Man's never been on a plane before. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's going to be a fun trip for everybody, especially me. Um, yeah, so... I suppose that's a good point, just quickly before I get on to my week. Um, no, no, no. It's I, always... I want to make a PSA. In the middle go- of my fucking PSA, <laughs> you stupid bitch. My PSA is a project PSA. If you're going to States... No, not states. If you're going to Oceanics, Oceanics, bring Jake a birthday present. It's his birthday. Yeah. If you uh, show if up, if you don't bring anything, bring me a win. Jesse, I know you're gonna be there. And if you don't have a present for Jake, Jake's gonna cry. Big Sag. It's my party, and I will cry if I want to. It is actually it. the whole event is just Jake's birthday party. Uh huh. I am that sad that I probably would organise a tournament for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so onto my PSA. Um, Kurt's raised a point that I've said for a long time. It doesn't matter too much what the meta is. At the end of the day, you have to play what you're most comfortable with. Uh, playing the best deck in the room is not always going to be the best choice for you, so play what you feel is going to be best for you. Joseph's uh, justifying his choice of playing Brandon. Oh, please. 
doesn't matter what the meta is. Bread is just the new invoked. As long as they don't kill it off, bread the, will continue free, free forever. Free. <laughs> forever. <laughs> uh, they're not gonna kill Brandon. Actually, I don't know they when we're. Do them. you know when we're getting the um? Ulti brand fusion. Those chaos cards. It's like tribute to dark, summon a light at the same level and all that nonsense. When are we getting those? Oh, I thought we got those. We have not. Okay, I thought those were the shitty chaos commons from like two set back. No, no, no. We just got monsters for that. Um. Uh, well, don't know. Because those open up some kind of nutty stuff for. They could be in the next main set, but that's like three months away. It is a while away. Um, but the main thing it opens up is that I can put Invoke back in. <laughs> <laughs> More purple cards. I apologise for nothing. <laughs> More purple cards. Um, yeah, so my week. Um, so yeah, Sunday we talked about before. Uh, Tuesday... Uh, feeling more confident with my build and not having to verse quite so many decks that I wasn't familiar with, I ended up winning locals. Hurrah for me. Um, the... Coincidentally, it's the first locals Jake hasn't played me in a very long time. <laughs> yeah, but I also have in my head now how to actually play around the um, Kashtira setup. Like, ideally you want no back row and then you don't have to deal with it, but the idea is that you summon the Rinbrim and then use the Mercuria to search Albaz. You don't use the effect of Rinbrim straight away. Then you go Albaz effect. They have to chain the thing, and then you do the Rinbrim. Hear me out. No. What if you just lightning storm Gamma them? Yeah, I don't have room for Gamma. Find room for Gamma. Lightning no. storm Gamma against Kashira is real nice. It is, but like I said, don't nice. have room. Okay. Because it's sitting here like branded to marry. Why am I not playing Gamma? Yeah, that's no, like the that's only thing sign. that's annoying with Branded is like it has some really bonkers stuff it can do, but it's all relying on one ofs. So you're playing so many garnets in the deck and so many combo pieces that you have to play that you can't just like, oh yeah, I've got like 10 free spaces in the deck that I can just whack in um, tech cards and whatnot. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the payoff. Um, so yeah, I'm a lot more confident now in how the current line works, um, regrettably, and I don't feel good about it, I am playing Gimmick Puppet, I don't like it, but in the current meta, it just seems to be the best way to play the deck. Just be like, you have to. they activated a macro cosmos on me, I will make sure they cannot play you again. <laughs> yeah, I very much entered my villain era, I'm just like, oh, you want me to not play? No, you. <laughs> but hopefully I win some fucking die rolls because I don't I think I won one die roll last Sunday so I need those to happen yeah that'd be nice would be nice uh, but moving on to some news uh, so currently in Master Duel we are in the midst of uh, WCQ qualifications I haven't been able to play nearly as much of it as I've wanted so to you say missed mixed miss I don't know how to say that word um, <laughs> yeah I have not even looked at it Go just free out the press release this morning. It's free gems. Free gems. Free gems. I'm in. Yeah. Literally, you just Wait, log in. I have to play against Kashira? No, it's not no, that it's yet. Not there, yeah. No, I have to play against your element? Yes. Ah, fuck that. <laughs> it's not worth the gems. People are hyping up Blackwing. People are hyping up Blackwing as a potential respondent to tier element. Possibly because there's a structure deck that Black people Wing. can pay for. But. Why? I think because you set up the Bernie one and then once you activate four monster effects it just fucking blows up the board or some shit. But then they all trigger. Well, no, 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 no. You, you can set up three of the Bernie dragon and they activate four effects and they die. It burns them 2,100 two each effect. Or you just summon the one that's unaffected by other cards and you just wait. It's only got 3k attack. It's only got 3k. Ah, uh, it's fine. You figure it out. <laughs> sure. Yeah, um, T has a field spell that gives them 500 attack. Activate non fusion aerial. Okay, so not just an unaffected thing, also a floodgate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't we just play floodgates? Because floodgates are bad. Jake hates them. I really do. <laughs> non fusion aerial. I hate them. Eh. I, I was actually considering playing the fucking. That. Hmm. Uh, the ice dragon and the fucking statue. You know, fucking that one. Oh, um... Level 5 or higher floodgate? Yeah, Grave of whatever, whatever. Yeah, I considered playing that, and then I realised I only picked up two of these. I ain't playing two. <laughs> ah, that, that trap, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. Yeah, that that's one. it. You can't play level six or higher. Uh, uh, you can play them, but they cannot activate their effects or attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Your rank monsters don't count. <laughs> Until your rank monster goes away, and then you're like, oh no, I've locked myself out of my own deck. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, it's a rank, not a level. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tower, tower says hi. Hmm. Um, yeah, and also uh, we mentioned in, I think it was the last podcast, that they had a proficiency check. Um, it's not a solo mode like I was a little bit hoping for. It's just like it, it takes you to a separate website and it just gives you a rulings quiz. It's a judge, it's a judge quiz. Yeah. They want to make sure they can get judges for worlds. For when the AI fails. Oh, they yeah. Can get judges yeah, in. just in case mm-hmm. the AI doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it would be cool to go for Master Duel. Or at least it'll be cool to see what they Is do it, for Master Tool. Well, they announced it this morning. It's the 3v3. Oh, we yeah. knew that already. Well, they announced it this morning that the winner of each region has to pick two people who competed to go with them to compete in a 3v3 at Worlds. Yeah. Yeah, we knew that already. Okay. Anyway. It's I wonder if they're still doing best of threes or best of ones. Because so I know when they've done their Master Tool Invitationals before, they've done best of threes. Yep. But they also went 3v3s. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be best of ones, because your whole side deck is literally the whole deck list. Yes. I wouldn't mind this, because then... Smoke screen. <laughs> it just changed the entire deck. <laughs> is that not what happened in the <laughs> those online events? I don't think so. They still they stuck with their main three decks. Three different yeah. decks. They probably have, like, a basis. Um, that would be cool. Actually, I think it was... Um, going first, okay. all Floodgate deck. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. I think it was. One, I, I think it was Dzeef that did it a while back. He Tell had up. like a series on his channel. He had a series on his channel where, um, like, he'd invite other YouTubers, and they did like a Hearthstone structure of things. So they would announce four decks that they would be able to play, and their opponent would pick one that they're not allowed to use, and then you have to win with each of the three. Okay, I like that structure. more variety you don't have to play the same deck every single time yeah and you can't just bring the same deck so like in the current match you can't just go i'm bringing uh tier element with two rhino heart i'm bringing two element with three rhino heart i'm bringing two element with the budget rhino heart (laughs) and i'm bringing two element with dangers (laughs) this seems like something you would do how dare you? Bring back How the format. fuck you be like? You talk. I'm, I'm you playing want, no, 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 no. I'm not. Ta- I'm not I'm playing that. Tournament you give me stuff. shit for playing the one deck. Yes. How many different decks do you play in Master Duel? One Gem Knight FTK. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you own that you play. Oh, I switch around. No, you don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do. What do you think I play at the moment? Well, you were playing to you. I played that for like a day. And I was like, fuck that. At the moment, I'm playing pure You Say Synchros. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, announced that last week. And it's yes. terrible. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the worst. You don't have any hand traps. So you lose the die roll against That's any your own fault. deck you lose. Mm, it's your seat. fault for going full anime and being like, I'm not adding hand traps. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even You Say had fucking effect Veiler. Yeah, but it's not the spirit of the game. Oh, it's not the same. Not the spirit You've of the game. You've turned B team and I hate it. <laughs> Look. It's not the spirit of the game. It fucking is. So well, so you say it's not the spirit of the game while sit, like deciding if you're going to side Grave of the Super Agent Organism. That's in the spirit of the game. No, it isn't. Because <laughs> it says no to purple cards. <laughs> no Racism. Purple cards. And white cards. And... But anyway, um... From tomorrow night, when I ideally have a bit more time, I would like to jump on and play some more games. I've gotten up to, I think, uh, DLV 14 so far, which isn't that far from the starting point, to be fair. But The starting it's... point is DLV 1. No. No, you just started higher because you're better than the average bear. <laughs> <laughs> average. <laughs> yeah, you're better than the average bear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Um, oh, I also an average bear. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I might get copyright tracked. Um, so your personation is going to be that good. 
<laughs> my impersonations are excellent, and I won't hear otherwise. Um, I did buy the Sprite Blue Mate, though. I forgot to put it Why? as my mate, because it looks cool. Does it transform like the other one? No, it has no it's, it's, a, it's a normal mate. Oh. They, they've only done two deluxe mates so far. One for his scaly uh, waifu deck, and uh, Guy the Dragon Knight. He's like normal Gaia, and then when you summon from the extra deck, he becomes the fusion Gaia. Ah, oh, okay. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Yeah, that one. Hmm. Remember when we almost got that as a fucking Starlight Rare? We yeah. Did? Fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> that was absolutely a Starlight Rare. It was one of the first that we had. Uh, it was in Rise of the Duels, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such yeah, a yeah. good set to put such a shit Starlight Rare in. <laughs> Positive and negatives. It's fine. Uh, but moving on to the posit- uh, the physical card game, not positive, not at the moment anyway, um, we have announcements of some stuff that's coming in um, Age of the Overlord, uh, which I think is the set after Duelist Nexus, or whatever it is. starting to get those announcements. Yes, so... Uh, I just feel so far behind. <laughs> we do feel, like, and that's the thing, we announce these things so far in advance before we get them, that by the time they come, I've forgotten about them. We get dinosaurs next week. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Next week when I, this comes out. The less I hear about dinosaurs until they come out, the better. But anyway, dino um, so the Pendulum Jake's stuff is, that's been announced is He's getting that all, all <laughs> in regards to <laughs> Zark. Um, so it's all light support for Zark. They've got a new uh, sort of, what's it called? Supreme Gate Magician. Um, cheats out another scale if it's in scale. Um, oh no, sorry, that's its monster effect. Um... Is it, I was going to say, is it one of the ones that went and died? Oh, no, sorry. Scale? No, no, sorry. I am wrong. So, yeah, it destroys itself in scale to set one of the um, gates from the deck, except itself. So, you set then... the zero. Yeah. Yeah, or 13. But isn't that the one that does not have a restriction? Uh, you can only summon darks from hand. Ugh. The zero first, doesn't have a restriction. It's your first turn, you don't give a shit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, more often than not, it will be zero. Um... But also while it's in scale, your Supreme King Zark uh, cannot be banished by your opponent's card effects. Because it already can't be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And that's Supreme King Zark? Or is the Supreme King No, no, King this, is, old... this is one of the supports. Um, okay. And then um, if you have a uh, Supreme King gate uh, as a monster, if you have a gate other than itself in the Pendulum Zone, you can send a Pendulum Dragon, a Z Dragon, Synchro Dragon, or Fusion Dragon from your hand or extra deck to the graveyard, and then special summon it from the hand. Oh, that's disappointing. That's fine. It would have been cool if it had a negation. I mean, once you have a Zark on the field, do you really care what your opponent's doing? I don't think you do. Zark is surprisingly easy to out. When it can't be destroyed by... Destroyed, targeted, or banished by card effects. Yes. Take over it. Not everybody can do that. It's 4k, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, easy. Five-headed dragon. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone's playing five dragons. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, you just play five-headed dragon. <laughs> it's a ready fusion target. No. No. Why not? <laughs> Level too high. He too big. Mm. Need to be more skinny. Instant fusion times two. You know, Jake, I would have accepted you to say it's an effect monster, but <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not. I mean, even it if is, it's is it? even yeah, but it's, dragon is an it can only monster. be destroyed by light monsters. That's its effect. Yeah. Ah, what the? But also, ready fusion only summons six or lower. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, uh, they also get a uh, five heads. They have a light worm to go with the dark worm. The light worm is trash. Um, but then they have a retrain of Zark. See, I thought this was what you were talking about before. No. Mm. Uh, so this is Supreme Celestial King Odd Eyes Arc Ray Dragon. Sounds fun to say. <laughs> say that ten times, Jake. I don't want to write that on the deck list, so I might not end up playing these. Uh, same materials <laughs> as Zark. <laughs> well, it's a fusion, of course I am. Um, so, its materials are the same as Zark. play the materials. Uh, it is treated as Zark once on the field. Um, while it's face down in the extra deck, um, you have to either summon it properly or tribute a Zark that you control to summon it. Um, and then when it's summoned from the extra deck, you can place a Pendulum Monster from your deck in your Pendulum Zone. And then if it's destroyed, you place it in the Pendulum Zone. Uh, what does it do in the Pendulum Zone? Where's its Pendulum Effect? Uh, if you have two cards in your Pendulum Zone, special summon this card, then you can shuffle one card in your Pendulum Zone into the deck. Then, if you returned 
uh, then if it returned to your extra deck, you can special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. That's dumb. Like, I get it, but it's dumb. I think it's made to cheat out some of the more ridiculous Odd Eyes um, extra deck monsters that are like uh, Synchro Pendulum and all that nonsense. Uh, <laughs> old man shouts at Arc V Cloud. Um, they did get a searcher for um, the the worms, like Dark Worm and Light Worm. Yeah. But it can only be used during the main phase. But if you have Zark in the field, you can special summon it. You so can also great. just fucking play Foolish Burial or Dragon Shrine to search those. <laughs> I'm not saying that these In a better be... way. Look, it's there if people want it. It's okay. Like, I would much rather that searcher just say, send it to the graveyard. So It's better that way. Is this like a new main set? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Age of Overlord is the main set that comes out after Duelist Nexus. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so we're getting more in this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might be one or two more cards that they announced with this, but yeah. Um, when they said Overlord, I'm assuming that at some point they'll probably do Mech Lords as well. They don't need Ooh, more support. No one cares. We're getting support for Orgoth the Relentless. Ah, perfect. <laughs> yes. Die roll decks. Please. That's exactly what we want. <laughs> dungeon is. dice monsters. Yeah, where's the reprint of dungeon dice monsters? <laughs> Every time we bring this up, I look on eBay to try and find some, and there's just the same guy selling it for 150 bucks, but half of it's broken. Oh. Perfect. That's exactly what you want. Um, so, speaking of exactly what you want, uh, we have the announcement of the next OCG structure deck retrain. Um, which is very much not what people want because apparently it skipped over two and just went to this. Uh, so it is the Fire We've been Kings. been doing that for a while. Yeah, yeah. Expected. Yeah. Seen it. Um, why would we know that yet? I don't know. <laughs> also, we won't get it. I want Maxi. You, no. Maxi no, you back. don't. I want Maxi. You, you think don't. you do, but you don't. No. I want to go through it again. You not went again. through it the first you, time. Yeah. It wasn't even the first you have, time. It was shit. Hmm. It's not good. I hate it in Master Duel. It means I can draw my kaiju for a rise heart. It also means your opponent can do that. I still find it so funny that at <laughs> locals back in the day, like in Fusion sub zoo format, people were just playing the Maxi as they're in the hand trap. Hmm. So if you got Maxi'd, you could just Fusion sub zoo until your opponent decked out like a certain <laughs> amount of cards, and then you just would just play present card. So if you drew present card, your opponent would have like 30 cards in hand, and then draw phase, you just go, and discard your whole hand, draw five. Good times. It was funny. FTK. The one time I remember, um, like, dropping Maxi on Zoo just playing full ball, I went first. And it was like an okay board. It wasn't a great board. It was Mermouse. Um, but w as soon as he went to summon the Dryden, <laughs> I striked it. <laughs> and then he had nothing, and I had like 12 cards in hand. But anyway, back to Vikings. Uh, so, this one is going to be uh, released in the OCG on September 9th. Uh, so we probably won't get it until early next year. I wonder is it, if it, as a part of the retrain, they will get an updated mechanic that doesn't make them suck. Uh, nothing that indicates that the so far. Fire King Island 2. You destroy your own monster and discard your entire fucking hand and concede. <laughs> No need to shit on them yet. We don't have any idea what these are going to be doing. I played them in Duel Links for a while. It's not that bad of a deck. Why it's not. In... It has a negate. We're getting so much fire support. Yeah, yeah. they do that sometimes. Because it's the year of the flame. Is it? No. Ben is talking it absolute is. nonsense. Well, any year, yet every again. year they, they do a different element of support. Uh, for the last 17 years, it's been dark. <laughs> for the three years before that, it was oh, yeah. white. Every, every year they pick one, and yeah, yeah they've just, just been coincidentally just happened dark. to go light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Light, dark, light, dark. Now, there um, was fire, another piece of wind, wind water, water, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, everybody get one, except for light and dark. <laughs> oh, wait, I missed Earth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> support that I really don't understand yeah, why we, support that I don't understand why we're getting but apparently well I know why we're getting it but I don't like it uh, Sky Striker Ace Camellia and why are we getting that support James? because of whammon whammon okay Which people in the OCG and the TCG are obsessed with this archetype they need to let it die I'm really happy <laughs> that no one's playing it anymore even though we're getting engaged too I mean yeah, if the rumours around the uh, rule changes are to be... Why? Because you can't play it. 
it's the exact same yeah it said in the tournament policy the one where oh. engage was at two that um <laughs> shifter was illegal <laughs> guess we're getting it imagine is shifter uh, being in, in master all no it's no. in two oh. but imagine a world where we had those three cards that were released in the tins nibiru dark roar and shifter Everyone and thinks. Shifter's the first one to go away. <laughs> to be fair, Shifter was always the worst one, but it was not the most playable. Played one, yeah, because not all decks could use it. Yes. The decks that can use it, fuck me, they abuse it. Yeah. Actually, I had Leo messaging me today. He's like, so does Shifter do anything against Branded? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. It turns them off for a maybe a turn. It yeah. also turns them off. Because the um, they get the banish effects. Yes, that's that's exactly what I said. I was like, yeah, it stops the mirror jade and maybe the branded in red, but that's it, and it's just for a turn. And if they like, they can still do gimmick puppet combo from that point, so they'll just do that. Does mirror jade have to go to grave to trigger its new ward effect? No, no. It just has to leave the field. Okay, sure. Yeah, so ninety percent of I the deck's still on. It's I just oh if, no, no. If it gets banished face down, there's a trigger. Yeah. No. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I was like, because it goes to a private knowledge location. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But a rice heart just overrules that. What? A rice heart overrules the private knowledge. Technically. For you. Yeah. Technically. But anyway, back to Sky Shark as a board that I hate. <laughs> um, so, uh, Link to Dark Machine Effect. Uh, top right, bottom left. It's not terrible for the deck, to be honest. Uh, has right, to be Link right. summoned, but no one cares about that. Um, especially not the people making the rules for the uh, fucking remote duel that we're in. Is it actually Sky Striker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duel that Sky Striker Ace. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I read something saying it wasn't, but it shouldn't be. It's a anyway, uh, so once per turn, if you have three or less spells in your graveyard, send a Sky Striker card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card onto their field, and if you do, send that monster to the graveyard. Also, shift control to this of this card. Oh, hang on. Shift control to this card's owner during the end phase of this turn. So it's a kaiju? Yeah, a kaiju from the bin. Interesting. A kaiju and also, it brings summon. itself back to uh, their yes. field in the main monster zone. Yeah. So if your opponent's playing striker, it's not going to work because they can just link one with it. Yeah. It's during the end phase. Now, it comes back to you during the end phase. But you kaiju your opponent, and they go, ah, my Hayate. Hayate effect. Next bit of support, Jake. It's not generic. We don't want to talk about Sky Striker. Um, that's a good question. Where's the link material? It's two monsters, including a Sky Striker monster. It doesn't say that. What would it say, then? I'm trying to find that. It doesn't actually list what its material is. But I'm assuming it would be. Yeah, uh, if it's generic, that'd be insane generic kaiju from the extra deck exactly when are we getting those <laughs> fucking never <laughs> when are we getting kaiju Bro, <laughs> can we not kaiju support what was so kaijus were a tcg exclusive archetype what was the japan exclusive kaiju was it super mecha anti kaiju war machine um i think they did more spells and traps for them didn't they but yeah the, i think eventually they made the good anti kaiju Neither of them have ever been played in a serious <laughs> capacity. Better. The better anti kaiju kaiju. Phantom kaiju anti war machine. <laughs> what have we Ah, uh, yes. Just double gone? checking if there's anything else. Any more news? That's okay. not Sprite Blue. I still don't get why you went for Sprite Blue. It looks good. That's all you need. Was it? I've had Totally Awesome as my mate for a long time now. I don't like it. No, they animated the eyes weird. It looks yeah, it looks derpy as fuck. <laughs> it looks dead inside. Quite a um, we don't know what the effect is yet, but we do have a V jump promo that's going to be coming out soon. Um, and so far, it's called uh, Super Future Polymerization or Over Future Polymer uh, Over Future Fusion. Um, so all it's... the words that he said there were actually its name. All of them hmm. put together in one big ass fucking. Imagine <laughs> writing that on a super duper deck list. Oh. Insane polymerization. So, in the artwork, it's got sort of the normal future fusion artwork, but then it's also got skyscrapers in the background. So, sure, Ooh, it was the, hero. Hmm? it was skyscraper. 
Well, it was just one skyscraper before, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was always that building. Yeah, yeah, but now it's got more. Now it's got lightning. Hmm. Well, it always had something coming down, didn't it? Yeah, but now it's got more. It's going... Okay, we can both be right. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to do? We don't know, but I'm assuming it's going to Here's be whole a slightly worse board. version of the original effect that we already had. It's going to fusion some. Yeah. In a couple turns time. It'd be cool if it sent to fusion summon, but like the first one you can't activate its effects, and then the turn after it put them back to do it again. It'll just summon heroes. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna summon heroes. Exactly. True. It's just gonna be the original future fusion effect <gasps> locked to heroes. Ben. What if it negates? It could do, but it won't. GP. More excitingly, <laughs> Stardust support. Uh... So, uh, We're already this... getting a bunch that we haven't gotten yet. Yes, well, you're getting this one. Junk mail. <laughs> so, uh, Synchro Mail, so these uses a card as material cannot be destroyed by battle. Um, this if this monster. card is in your graveyard and you control yeah. a Synchro Monster whose original name includes Warrior, Synchro, or Stardust, uh, except the turn is sent to the graveyard, special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. Level 1, Earth, Warrior, Tuna, Effect. Okay, so it's bad. <laughs> I mean, the non-destruction by battle is decent. Like, uh, look. No, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you just summon Jet Synchron from the deck instead. You don't get rid of things by battle anymore. Yeah. You can sometimes. Not often, though. Not sometimes. Ooh, but not often. Sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes, but not all the time. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe sheep. Uh, so. What? We move on to our Discord, if you weren't aware, we have a link in the description below. Uh, feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. So our first question this week comes to us from Matthew Mack. Uh, his question is, what is the most based deck? <laughs> Two of us are too old to fully understand the question. Kurt, what's the most based deck? I don't know. No, I'd, I'd say T. Morphtronics. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Morphtronics. That's an FTK. That's not based. No, no, no. Trust me. I blame Morphtronics now. It's really fucking bad. Hmm? I don't know what in that deck actually FTKs. <laughs> Power Tool Dragon? Me, Does it's, it? I think so. No, Power Tool's just part of, like, setting up. I think it's more the fact that you just loop a bunch of materials, gain a fuck ton of life points... And then, like, oh, because you've got so many is, materials, this is the shit deck. you do yeah, other shit. shit. Deck. This isn't my Morphtronics. <laughs> I was like, there's Morphtronics here. Um, None of them do anything. That's Morphtronics. Oh, something's going outside. Yeah, that should I be a Randy Savage came back to life. Um, oh, yeah. mm, base deck. Um, I don't know. I'm too old. <laughs> It's Morphtronics. Yeah. I might get clarification on this question and come back to it, Matthew. I'm sorry. Uh, but he did ask another question. What is the best card you've ever pulled? Uh, Starlight Rare. But which one? I Just just for contexting situation into the card, uh, it was the first Starlight Rare I ever pulled, the Seahorse. Oh, you pulled the Marin Sass? Marin Seahorse. Damn. From, uh, one pack after Locals. Nice. And nice. I was like... Oh boy, it's a good day. That's a good day. So, how many starlights have you pulled all together? Three, three. Yeah, three. And three as well. How many starlights have you pulled? Four. Four. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 but who's the best one? All mine have not been very expensive starlights. I think the most expensive one was like three hundred bucks. Yeah, I definitely pulled more expensive uh, starlights than that. Ultimate Slay was worth more than that. I think yours and mine are probably on par with the most expensive. Yeah. Um, what was the one you pulled? My best one or just the Your one? best one. What my the best four one. You pulled? The most expensive. Okay, so the four that I've pulled, I pulled Ghost Mortar. Yep. I pulled Triple Tactics. Yep. I pulled. Uh, Triple Tactics. Uh, what's its fucking name? The Link to of Tri Brigade. Uh, Fergie. 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 Uh, and Cartesia. Interesting. What'd you get? Wind Charmer Virgin. 
Yeah, I don't know. They always go up. You still got that, don't you? No. I just lo sold it to Luke. Ah, oh, okay. Got to my money for that one. But there's like a full on fight happening outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going over Starlights. Mushroom Man Randy Savage came back from the dead, and he's just fucking going at it outside. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and everyone else is like, mate, mate. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> next question comes to us from 6R6. Uh, how many times can you repeat a word for emphasis exaggeration before it becomes unnecessary or annoying? Oh, it was, are we getting called out here? I don't know. I hope not. Well, do I say a word a lot for exaggeration or emphasis? Busted. Broken. Gadget gamer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. <coughs> Where is? That's an interesting question we have next. So. Um. Complete sidebar. Uh, I need to build the fortune lady deck so that I can judge <laughs> oh. my fortune every day. <laughs> wait, wait, no, that's not fortune ladies. That's fortune fairies. Uh, I need to build a fortune fairy deck so I can be like, ah, oh, bad luck. Oh, bad luck. No, no, no. Oh, bad luck. You still you need, need to make the tomorrow. fortune lady deck, though. Considering that you're making the sign of dragon decks, you need to make the... Yeah, but they're not dragons. Yeah. There's no sign of dragon in fortune. fucking the terrible. decks. You need to make the, um, earthbound decks. No, earth... well, well, once the new support comes out, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so comes out? Yes. <laughs> I'd be down to do earthbound. I love earthbound. Um... Uh, things so. becoming annoying repeated uh yeah i don't know like depends once you notice it yeah then it's shit yeah um there used to be a guy at my work that always said um instead of saying all i'm saying is he would go all i'm saying is <laughs> it triggered me so hard <laughs> every time it hurt. yo it hurt. jacob all i'm saying <laughs> is we gotta sell the property <laughs> He wasn't from Boston, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> um, our last question comes to us from Naya. Uh, um, if you were able to give the best deck, oh, to be given the best deck, but had to kick someone from locals, would you do it? And who would it be? Sorry, and why is it Josh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good point. <laughs> so if I had to boot someone from locals to get the best deck, hmm, yeah, Josh would go. Um... I don't know, because the, the best deck is like an ever-changing thing. Every format, someone goes from locals, but you get to play the best deck. We just play Survivor well, at locals. Yeah, so you are the biggest I locals. wouldn't get rid of anyone at the moment, because I don't like the deck. Everyone's just if on their is... fucking toes. Whenever a deck's getting printed, and it's going to be good, they're like, fuck, we have a nice to Jake. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Nah, locals is getting too brief. There's not enough people. Yeah, we finished really early the other night. We still had four rounds, and with the time increase. The time increase. Because I told Jamie yeah, he didn't even know the time increase. That means there was an extra ten minutes. No, that's fine. And we still got to KFC early enough that the food wasn't shit. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> I was really happy about that. Yeah, I when I, we were like. Going into the fourth round, I was like, fuck. KFC's gonna be shit tonight. And then we got there at a reasonable time and it wasn't. It was great. The chips so, were for, fresh. For the context, fresh. by the way, our local KFC just stops cooking at 10. So if you get there at 10 it's open until 11. Yeah, if you get there at 10 th at 10 30, they will just tell you some stuff is unavailable and then just give you the fucking cold shit that's been sitting on the, on the racks. And. In fairness to them, I understand from my time working at a food court Macca's, like, you don't want a heap of stuff available towards the end of your shift because then it just goes to waste. But at the same time, it's like, you can't just tell your customer that 90% of your food's not available. That's See, not how it goes. When I was a weird lad, AJ. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. My good friend. No, I will always say it. <laughs> oh yeah, circle back to that. Um, so yeah, um, so uh, it's when I was a wee laddie. 
so yeah, uh, my one of my good friends' sisters was a manager at KFC. And they used to just overcook, put it all into buckets, and take it home. So yeah, she'd see, come I home at like, like two in the morning, and we'd like still be up playing the Xbox, and mm. she'd just come in with like this big ass fucking bucket of KFC. But like, here, boys. Thank you. So here's the thing. I was good at my job, so I didn't like go out of my way to make wastage. Um, but again, when I was a wee laddie, um, I when would... you were a wee laddie, you'd say it's so slow, like <laughs> so slow. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. In fact, I'm it becomes um, unnecessary and annoying. <laughs> <laughs> So, it is what it is. <laughs> back in, like, before I was doing manager-type stuff at Macca's, um, we all had, like, a Friday night shift, me and all my mates. Um, so we'd all finish at, like, 11, 11.30. We'd all get, like, a dinner box and then take it back to someone's house and we'd stay up, like, playing PlayStation and playing, like, poker and stuff until about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. It was very fun. We used to just not go to sleep. Legitimately, we just not go to sleep. Again, this isn't a competition. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. Stories of Ben's childhood. <coughs> One time we were up playing Guitar Hero, and then again, she came over with the KFC, we're like, yes. Which and then one? one of my friends, this would have been Guitar Hero 3. Uh, and then one of my friends was jamming a guitar solo and fucking tried to spin the guitar in his neck and then put it through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is at like 3.30. No, it didn't wake anyone up. We were just like, Let's take it out of the wall. Let's keep playing. Play Halo in the stand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. Yeah, so that uh, does conclude us for this week. Uh, if you are listening to us on a streaming service, feel free to favorite us. Oh, wait, uh, apparently, sorry. I need to give a PSA. This happens every time I get to do another another, <laughs> another PSA from my my childhood. Uh, if you have an Xbox original and an Xbox 360, uh, don't think that you can put the Xbox original on its side like the Xbox 360 stands on its side, no. your disc will go inside of the console. Mm-hmm. Or just fell out of the disc tray into the machine. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. <laughs> so, it if you're going back and you're doing some retro gaming, <coughs> don't do it. <laughs> we also melted an Xbox once. We played it for 72 hours straight. And... Like, it was one of those clear white ones that you could see through, and, like, oh. all of the insulation just melted, and it was just a puddle at the bottom. Ah, oh, perfect. I was like, oh, yes, mm. this doesn't work anymore. When, when did the game stop? Uh, it still kept going for a little while. <laughs> it just, like, smelled really bad, and but then the it stopped Xbox working. It was an Xbox original. Oh. Yeah. Those were the days. Continue the outro. I wasn't an Xbox kid for context i actually didn't play xbox much if at all when i was younger it was just playstation yeah final fantasy all the way i had a playstation but always wanted a xbox xbox superior so we had an xbox so me and my friends we had one of us had the nintendo one of us had the xbox and one of us had the playstation (laughs) we were just like yeah cool you just go to each other's houses for whatever you want to play that day actually there was kids again just Wait. delving back into history here. Bro, there was fucking tangent here. Um, there <laughs> were these kids that lived down the road from us. Like, they were family friends. Um, I didn't like any of them. But they had... <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but they had a Nintendo 64. <laughs> they which... ate their veggies. <laughs> Jake didn't like them. They drank milk with their dinner. They were fucking freaks. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> so, I didn't like any of them. But they had a Nintendo 64. And they had, like, Smash Brothers, Pokemon Snap, all the good shit. Yep. So I, like, forced myself to be friends with them just so I could play the games. <sighs> and now we don't speak to their family. That does conclude us for tonight. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, as I was saying, if you are listening to us on a streaming for- service, feel free to favourite us. Apparently you can ask questions on Spotify. Feel free to submit them through there. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. As I've mentioned before, I would love to really get up to 1,000K. Uh, sorry, 1,000K would be great. Yeah, we're getting 1,000K. <laughs> Off to the moon, baby. 1K. I would like to get to 1K subscribers before the end of the year. Um, and yeah, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions for next week, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some top profiles from the States tomorrow. Question mark. No. Goodbye. You shut up.
I guess. Okay. 